crazy, crazy week it's been. But one thing for sure, I am definitely getting closer to building a program whereby the work I have done with the service user before they actually get into court, on the court hearing, support their case so much so that I don't even have to be in court with them. And then they won't, won't need me anymore in the court for that particular hearing because they're gonna get the result that they have basically been predicted by me uh, and based on the conversations that we've had and based on the coaching that we've done and based on the statement that has been supported with and based on the behaviours that have been implemented and based on the on what's right for the child. And for that, I am eternally grateful. We noticed that I've, uh, I've also noticed I've got knee deep with in people with like strong, strong narcissistic behaviours. Flipping out on me, actually flipping out on me from one day being the hero to the next day they're wiping me off their shoe or spitting me out of their mouth or peeing me out or somewhere. But then I had to reflect and realise there must be a reason for all of this. I'd meditated and this is what I've come up with. Reflecting on why I may suddenly recognise the patterns of encountering with narcissistic behaviours. Could, it could be an important personal insight as I become more self-aware or educated about certain personality traits. I could start seeing these patterns more clearly, I suppose. I thought, well, yeah, that works. This recognition often doesn't happen all at once, but results from a gradual learning and understanding processes might come from there. It's feasible, it's feasible. One reason could for this could be a shift in my own boundaries and self-awareness. Maybe, maybe. As, as you become more attuned to your needs and what constitutes as healthy behaviour in relationships, you might be more likely to spot when others display unhealthy or self-centred traits. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Alternatively, a significant event or relationship may have triggered this awareness, helping me to notice previously unrecognised behaviours. This epiphany of challenging people can be also an opportunity for growth. It might prompt you to reassess your relationships and your responses to, to them in the long term. Consider setting stronger boundaries for my own well-being. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But one thing I know for sure is the dynamics between empaths and narcissists can unfold in a paradoxically instru in instructional way. Empaths by nature are selfless beings inclined to surrender their needs, seeking external validation and a sense of security from those around them. On the opposite end of this spectrum lies a narcissist engrossed in their own sense of self-importance and often manipulating others to fulfil their personal desires. Within this interplay, I think, like the, the empath may find themselves drawn to the narcissist's robust sense of self, albeit a toxic one. This magne mag magne mag magnetism isn't mere happenstance but a profoundly ingrained lesson waiting to be acknowledged. Through the narcissist's challenging behaviours, the empath is unwittingly encouraged to discover their self-worth, to build their strong sense of self. Separate from the validation and emotional responses of others, eventually the most profound takeaway for the empath could be establishing boundaries and saying enough is enough. This realisation might signal a pivotal moment of awakening and self-preservation, ushering the newfound self-appreciation and independence. Every day is a school day. There have been, and it is my conclusion. That's why I'm knee deep in people with strong narcissistic behaviours and tendencies, because I'm learning to be more assertive and to set boundaries. But maybe how to set them some up boundaries because, well, one thing I know for sure is I'm always going to be nice. Always going to be nice. Even when things go wrong, I'm still going to be nice. And I'm going to be nice even when people call me an arsehole. I'm going to be nice even when people poke me in the face with a match. I'm an eyeball with a match. But don't touch my daughter, otherwise I'll kill you. That's the only thing I'm going to say about. Don't touch my daughter. Don't, don't touch my daughter. Other than that, have a lovely evening. Have a great weekend. And keep learning. Keep learning.